What up, world? It's your boy C. Water Phoenix sitting in my room, chilling, start some different things. As you can see, I got the little mini dress cracking right now, growing my hair out and all of that. So I'm taking everything in a different direction. You know what I mean? So this is a brand new start for me. A lot of different things is about to go down. As you can see, I appeal production brand shirts made. If you want one, holla at your boy. Reason why I'm dropping this video, topic of this video is I'm talking about these mass shootings that's been cracking all this year, every single day. We can just basically say America has had a mass shooting when you balance it out and you do the numbers we've had a mass shooting almost every day this year shout out to the people in san Bernardino, all the families praying for those victims of course victims in colorado victims in i mean just all these different places there's been mass shootings that you don't even know of it's probably been mass shootings that's going down in your hometown and let me specify something when i say mass shooting i mean it's an incident where there's been four plus people either killed or injured by gun violence. It can be somebody, let's say you at a corner store, you hear gunshots go down, four people get hit, you know what I'm saying? That's a mass shoot. So real quick, what I'm gonna do, is just go through some of these examples. I'm going to just talk about some of these mass shootings that's going down and probably give you some information that you probably didn't know. But this is it getting out of control. A lot of people say that, you know, it's officially the end of the last days. It's the sign of the times. The days are coming to an end. That could be the case too. But most importantly, man, these mass shootings, man, they're just getting out of hand, man. Like, it's something that's even probably, it's something went down in Detroit that I ain't even really know about. It's something that's, that happened historically that I ain't even know about. We're going to run through those real quick man and i'ma just you know talk about these mass shootings spread the word a couple other things too tuesdays thursday i'm dropping videos it may be me sitting around at the crib playing around with stuff it could be electronics reviews it could be video games reviews but look for a video from me every tuesday and every thursday and on top of that i'm starting to do blog talk radio shows on fridays hopefully some basketball talk i'm getting set up on saturdays so all of this stuff could be going down next year but other than that i'm gonna jump into the topic i got my laptop up right here and i'm gonna go through these articles and go through these you know pieces of information so you can understand how dreadful and how just out of hand these mass shootings has been so while the whole thing was going down to san Bernardino yesterday i had the police scanner up and i heard the whole shootout that happened between the suspects and the police i heard that come over the scanner before it even hit the airwaves so that was a pretty spooky moment i was doing some research yesterday and i came across this article it was on cnn and it was basically saying that the u.s leads the world in mass shootings out of 290 92 shootings that's happened globally 90 of them have been in the United States that's almost half the US has 5% of the world's population but it saw 31% of the public mass shootings man how violent is this country we have violence in our music we have violence in our television shows we have violence in our movies how violent is this country how much violent are we going to allow it to be and it's crazy because you look at cities like Chicago you look at cities like Detroit every urban city and violence is bragging rights we sit up there and we say i live in detroit detroit is the hood everybody get popped and people get popped every day but you don't understand how miserable it makes other people's lives you know what i'm saying how violent is this country going to be before how, when are we going to say okay enough is enough and and chill out of course we got the whole black lives matter thing but that's contradictory in itself because that only comes into effect when somebody gets killed by another person of a different race that's when we want to say black lives matter in my city, just the other day, people got killed, man. You know what I mean? That that wasn't even over the age of 18. Like, lost their lives early. But yet still, there's nobody walking around saying Black Lives Matter. You know what I mean? The whole Laquan McDonald thing, that's when we want to say, okay, now, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives should matter every day. If this is a serious thing that we're going to do. But anyway, back to the whole mass shooting thing. It's crazy, man. Between 1966 and 2012, there were 90 mass shootings in the United States. 1966 and 2012. Now, I'm not about to sit here and try to tell you how many years apart that is, but if you're good at math and you can put two and two together, you can figure that out. In 2012 alone, you know what I'm saying? It, it was like the, the, the guy in Colorado, he, he injured just 58 people. Like, in just his incident alone, you know what I mean? He killed 14, I believe, and he injured like 58. Come on, man. Like, that's crazy. And for what? Like, what was the motive behind that? He was only 24 years old at the time of the shooting. Young. People losing their minds at a young age. Mass shootings. What is this all about? A lot of people may say, well, well, it was a false flag government thing. Every single one of these, these mass shootings can't be a false flag government event. Now, I'm not saying that some of these are. I'm not saying some of these are not. 
You know what I mean? If you do your research and you that's what you discovered, then cool. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is not every single one of them. You know what I mean? Some of them may be, but not every single one of them. The Washington Post had an article that's up. You can go to WashingtonPost.com and check it out. It says the San Bernardino shooting is the second, it was the second mass shooting just yesterday. It was two of them yesterday and it was another one in Georgia. But yeah, one person was killed and another three were injured in Savannah, Georgia. That makes it a mass shooting. But what's interesting about this Washington Post article that I'm looking at, they have this picture up here. With this picture, they got every month broken down. And in each calendar date, it's a number of mass shootings that happened that day. Just three weeks into the year, on January 11th, it was four. It's been a mass shooting at least every day, every month of this year. So on January 11th, it was four. February 28th, it was three. March 20th, it was four. Uh, April 16th, it was five. I mean, May, June, July. July was probably the bloodiest month to date because it was four, eight, 11, 16, 20, 24, 23 mass shooting incidents in july alone so so when you look at it from that that standpoint there's something wrong is it the gun is it the gun rights i don't know is it gun rights let me tell you something gun rights are not going to change anything because you can't dictate a person's logic can't dictate a person's stress level gun rights just can do one or two things make it more difficult for people to get guns or make it more difficult for people to use them. And if it's not difficult enough right now, there's not pretty much more you can do because you're gonna always have people who get fired from jobs and that may be become a reason to go crazy. You may have people who been married 25, 30 years, have a divorce or find out the wife was cheating. That may make them go crazy and kill a bunch of people. You never know. So you can say, yeah, we need to tighten up on the gun laws and Obama can write all kinds of things and send them to Congress and do whatever. But what's the difference? Because if we don't learn how to not only regulate our emotions, think clearly, think logically, gun rights and, and, and Second Amendment rights or whatever that may be, that's not going to solve anything. So at the end of the day, what is the real issue? You can never really narrow it down. But one of the things that was interesting to me was some of the most deadliest ones. Shout out to the LA Times. They had an article. They wrote it uh, yesterday. And it said the deadliest mass shootings from 1984 to 2015, right? And of course, the one that just happened yesterday in San Bernardino was on the list. 14 dead, 17 injured, right? You had the guy in Colorado that went crazy in the Planned Parenthood clinic. If you don't know about it, do your research. But that happened... November 29th of this year, it was three dead, nine injured. In October, a dude, you know what I'm saying, killed eight people in in a community college in Oregon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nine dead in Charleston. That happened this year. It was six dead and, and seven wounded in California. You know what I'm saying? Th that was one of the ones that, that stands out to me the most because it was about that Elliot Roger guy. If you don't know who Elliot Roger is, go on YouTube and type in his name and you'll see these videos that he uh, were doing and he was letting people know his day of retribution. That's what he called it. He was 22 at the time when it happened and basically his motivation was because women wasn't choosing him, although he had a nice car. He was, you know what I'm saying, a decent looking cat, you know what I'm saying, and he always wondered why these women wasn't choosing him. So when you look at it, when you look at it from that angle, how can you, gun laws ain't got nothing to do with that. This dude was just upset with the simple fact that he, he couldn't get a girl. And he had everything that women say that they want. A guy with a car, a guy that's doing something, you know what I'm saying, a guy that looks decent. He seemed to be a pretty cool dude. But when you watch them videos, and you see what he was expressing, there's no way that you can tell that that was gonna go down. Why? Because look what it was based off of. It was based off the simple fact that he couldn't get a girl. Some people may find that mediocre. Some people may find that minute. To him, he found it very serious. So what can you do about that? Gun laws can't do nothing about that. The guy in Fort Hood, you know what I'm saying? In 2014, no, in 2009, he killed three people and injured 16. Like, are you serious? In 2013, um, the, the, this is another one that stuck out to me. The dude was a Navy contractor and he was a former, la former Navy enlisted man. And he shot and killed 12 people. But see, here's the thing though. He had a background in the Navy where he wasn't right to begin with. Disorderly conduct, insubordination, being absent without leave. He was failing inspections. You know what I'm saying? But he was still, he was still able to get a security clearance and purchase a rifle. Whose fault was that? 
I wasn't gun laws. That was just stupidity. They couldn't see that coming. My man had a history of being stupid. He had a history of not following the rules. And he was still able to get a security clearance and get a rifle. Do the math on that. What are gun laws really going to do? What can they really do? Nothing. You know what I mean? And you can, the list goes on and on. Newtown, Connecticut. You know what I'm saying? Sandy Hook. Come on now. Dude was 20 years old. Killed himself at the scene. So you no longer have a motive. You don't know why. You know what I'm saying? Killed 21st graders and 6 adults. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Gun laws can't do nothing about that, man. Because you don't know what was wrong. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? People go crazy. And then also, when you take things to a deeper perspective it's not all about the physical too you got spiritual forces behind you know what i'm saying you got demonic and, and demons and 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 all kind of stuff that's going on behind the scenes that gun rights and gun laws can't do nothing about i heard the phrase a lot growing up as a kid that it's an internal or it's a it's a everlasting battle between good and evil that we don't see god and satan are always clashing satan is also the master of deception. So he can put thoughts in people's head and make people think that it's logical when outside they're horrendous, they're terrible. But y'all can go online and do the research for yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's all on here. Uh, like I say, uh, I was at latimes.com. I was on um, washingtonpost.com. You know what I'm saying? CNN.com. Like, check these places out, man. That's it. Like, I just wanted to really touch on these mass shootings. It's crazy. It sticks out like a sore thumb. And then people say America is the best country in the world. Not when stuff like this is happening. I don't feel safe here. We fighting wars other places. But look at what's happening on our own home front. When you, when you, how can you, how can you be comfortable fighting in other places and we got stuff going down here you know what i'm saying when this when there's been more mass shootings than it has been days that's passed in the year come on now come on now but we got but we got soldiers in in other countries killing other people you know what i'm saying and for what they don't tell us why they just say it's isis and 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 in iso and you know what i'm saying domestic terrorism and all of that but but we have to police ourselves out here. We can't rely on the police. We can't rely on the, the, the military. We can't rely on the president. We can't rely on the mayors. We can't rely on the congressmen. We can't rely on the governors. We gotta rely on ourselves and we gotta rely on God in order to stop. Otherwise, America is like going down into the pits of hell with gasoline in the world. It's sad because they wanna say we need to do something about it, but there's nothing that's being done about it. It's just a lot of table talk and paper signing. Nobody is out here, you know, I should, let me take that back. Very few are out here saying we need to Black Lives Matter and, and, and chill out on the, all of the shooting and all of that, but we need better examples because the examples that we have and what I've been taught based off of what I'm seeing from historically up till now, it's, it's gonna be this way for a long time. So if you if we're not serious about cutting down on this gun violence, then it's not never going to happen. It's never going to happen. It's, it's never going to happen. I'm sorry. 336 days passed this year, and there's been 355 mass shootings. 336 days passed as of yesterday, and there's 300 no 300 yeah 355 mass shootings. That's terrible. That's sad, man. But hey, it is what it is. That's all I had, you know, and uh, that's about it. Tuesdays, Thursdays, new videos, radio show on Friday, sports talk coming on Saturday on blogtalkradio.com. It's your boy, C.Y. Phoenix. I'm out. Be safe.